What's up guys, and as always, welcome back to another episode of whether or not Pokemon Fix or Ruin of Individual Pokemon. This video we're going to cover Rapidash, who has been a Pokemon that has been on quite the journey. I mean, being a first generation Pokemon and still never really left a mark in the meta, you have to wonder whether or not they actually took the time to fix it. And uh, I am happy to announce I have a guest host here who is called Fufu, who is an incredible po Pokemon content creator really. I've been following him since 2014 and I highly recommend you guys to do the same because right now on his channel he is covering Pokemon that he thinks are better this generation was before and he usually does these types of episode where he fixes on one Pokemon and just debate whether it garnered something that is usable for the meta and quite frankly has been making really good episodes lately as some of these Pokemon actually got quite the buff besides of the smoke and OU meta and he's covering the Dynamax and of course the VGC aspect of it which is something I tried to do but I am nowhere near as knowledgeable as, of course, Sam here is. So, if anything, check him out. So, what can we say about Rapidash's journey to Generation 8? Well, it has been rather uneventful. As a fire type, it means that it's special in Generation 1 to 3, and it had 80 special attack and 100 attack. So, yeah, fire stat was always special. And uh, that made Rapidash not necessarily viable. The only real niche that had in Generation 1 was Fire Spin. And even at that, Moltres was considered a better because Fire and Flying was overall better. That also means that Charizard was theoretically better than Rapidash even in that generation because of its lack of less removal from Rapidash side. Generation 2 was much the same. Generation 3 is kind of the same, even though we got a Flash for its ability. But it just wouldn't work. Generation 4 had it came to its own as it's finally got Flare Blitz, which is something that really helped it out good with Low Kick. However, there were new fire types or also was physical that really, really did outperform Rapidash. Blaziken was one of them before it got its speed boost from Inertia 5, and then you had a new inclusion of Infernape, which really... Infernape is still to this day considered one of the best physical fire types in the, in the meta, and yeah, it, all were, it started from its start generation, and you know, it never really let off. Generation 5, Wither Generation, Rapidash were very forgotten. Even though we got a Wild Shark, which is something that really, really did push it somewhat, but it has no real way of setting up, and as always, have something working against it. Generation 6 had you coming with the Drill Run, and uh, it all of a sudden had a wide array of move pool that actually learned Morning Sun, I do believe, in this generation also. So it had niches, however, somewhat forgotten. Generation 7 didn't do it any favor either, though we had access to the likes of Megahorn, which I think it had before. But besides that, like I think it had gone high horsepower, but yeah, Riddle Run was often more considered, but quite frankly, we had Fro Chop also, but it never really let off. However, in Generation 8, it finally came to its own. So here's where I'll leave you guys with the master and incredible Pocket Hoover that is Fufu. Hello Skyrunder viewers, it's Fu here and I've been asked to talk a little bit about regular Rapidash. Though the spotlight may be on its Galarian counterpart, this fire type has seen some significant buffs in Pokemon Sword and Shield that definitely make it a much better Pokemon, so don't overlook this. Rapidash has gained access to two really important moves that completely change its viability. First off, and probably most importantly, is that Rapidash now has access to Sword Stance, and that is so important for it because previously it was generally a fast Revenger Pokemon with its base 105 speed being pretty fast, and actually in Pokemon Sword and Shield that's even more the case because speed tiers have changed quite a lot. There are some really elite, very fast things, and then there's everything else, and Rapidash is definitely in the faster end of that everything else. Um, so it's really good, but it kind of lacked the power. It's got a base 100 attack stat, and that isn't quite powerful enough to break through some really strong walls. However, with Sword Stance, that definitely changes it. Immediately gives it a great way to break through some common walls. It means its Flare Blitz will be doing devastating damage, and it does have that Wild Charge, which is a really nice coverage remove too, as well as high horsepower. All around, it had good coverage already, and after a Sword Stance, you're looking really good to sweep. 
It's worth noting that it also has access to agility. That's not a change it always has. So you could run a Swords Dance Agility Double Dance set. Or alternatively, if you don't want to lose out a move slot, you could have Flame Charge there because it's one of the few Pokemon that has kept access to that move despite it no longer being a TM. The second major change though is that it now gets access to Solar Blade. This is the only physical grass type move that Rapidash can learn, but that is really important because though it does have Wild Charge to hit some water types, a lot of the common water types in the Pokemon Sword and Shield meta are actually water ground types like Seismitoad and Gastrodon. And having the Solar Blade option is amazing because it can hit them for four times super effective damage rather than not hitting them at all with um, Wild Charge and Flare Blitz, for example. So it's a great addition there. Now, obviously, with Solar Blade, it's a high base power grass type move that needs the sun for you to use. That's mitigated in two ways, because in formats where you can Dynamax, obviously this gives you just a really powerful max overgrowth, so you don't have to worry about the sun. But outside of that, Rapidash is a pretty good sun Pokemon, so this is a great move to have on sun teams, because Rapidash will be getting the fire type boost, as well as being able to use Solar Blade, and Morning Sun heals extra damage. It heals two thirds of your health rather than a half. So it can be a really good Sun Team Pokemon, and also again, if you can Dynamax and go for a Max Flare, you set up the Sun yourself, so you can then use Solar Blade once your Dynamax runs out. So this is a really game-changing move for Rapidash. It means that opponents really have to watch out for what moves your Rapidash knows. It could have Solar Blade, it could have Wild Charge, it could have high horsepower for the rock types, or it's just it's very powerful Flare Blitz. It's really hard to switch in on. That Sword Stance means you'll be able to break through so many things. You can function it as a Wall Breaker, a Sweeper, or a really cool Dynamax Pokemon. So I absolutely love this Pokemon. I'm so glad it's received some much needed buffs in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and you definitely should try this thing out. So you heard a man, they fixed him, Rapidash is absolutely done. And while there are some issues still with it, for me I really would have liked its ability to change the draught and I believe we would have had a physical Ninetales on our hand. But for what it is, it is incredible and you know, we could argue that it's possibly one of the best solo, so, Sun Sweepers, I was gonna Solar Sweeper, Sun Sweeper of course, in this game and you know, they always look upon Charizard and their mana tend to be the more physical aspect of that, but quite frankly, Rapidash offers the team so much more. So if you're drafting this in a league environment, you do that because of that flexibility and because it has its way of wall breaking. Because all things considered, their mana tend does not have soul stance. Rapidash do, and it has Morning Sun, it also recover. It is so versatile and the move allows it to be so good. So I'm very happy and pleased to say thank you Game Freak for fixing Rapidash and also thank you Fofu for joining this episode as I couldn't have done this episode justice without you. So with everybody of course here joining me, thank you so much as always for of course watching. Make sure to leave a like. If you haven't considered subscribing, maybe you should. And <laughs> besides that, have a really great day everyone. Take care.